them back and uh, now the lions uh, look like they're going to set straight towards them. I don't know if they've realized it yet. I'm just going to move around to the other side of them. So I say we want to be in the right spot. And remember this is live from Kenya. My name is Brent. I've got Dave on camera and we're hunting with the Purungut Pride. So directly in front of us are Wildebeest heading from left to right and from the right we've got Wildebeest going from left to right so they're both sides. So we should be able to start seeing the wildebeest on the edge of our infrared shortly. So that means we're getting within 40, 50 meters. I'm just going to speed up to try and get parallel to the, the first lionesses. Grass is a bit shorter here, which could make it a little bit easier for us, a bit more difficult for the lions. So they must be very close now. Very, very close to the wildebeest. Oh, there's a big bump. Sorry about that. So we are driving in almost absolute dark at the moment. This is so exciting! Robin's wondering, are the lions used to the vehicles at night? Well, Robin... Oh, hang on Robin. Wait, come wider, Dave. This is widest. Look, 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 there's the wildebeest, there's the wildebeest! It's to the right! A little bit to the right, see if we can pick up one of the other girls. Now the other thing, a little bit to the right, can't see the other girls. Hold on, there's one other, was that a cub? That's a cub. There they're going. Oh. We've got two again! Don't tell me the third's done it to us again! One, two... We've got cubs and riders. I've only got two lionesses. Um, I'm just going to listen for a second. And that's exactly what they're doing to see if the missing lioness is caught. Here comes another one of the cubs. Now, in this situation, the cubs are less of a hindrance than they would be in other situations. So, during the non-migration time, you'll probably find the cubs will be told to sit and wait. Okay, Dave, go for a little scan off to the right there. No sign of the third lioness, but I don't... ...hear anything. One, two, keep coming a little bit to the left. No, we've still only got two, and they're on the move again. Let's just have a quick look if there's any more. Oh, there we go. Oh, some big bumps. Oh. Okay, they're heading towards a, a little croton thicket now, which is going to make following them a little bit difficult. Oh no, don't cross the lugger. If they cross through this, it's a, what we call a lugger, um, which is a, 
basically a little river and quite often they're very deep here in the Mara. So what we're going to probably do is say goodbye again for now but don't go anywhere. As I said, you never know when we're going to go live. We could be in another two minutes. It could be in 20. We're going to try and hopefully stick with the, the Purungat Pride as they go through towards this lugger. Otherwise we're going to have to drive quite a long way to find a way around.